You guys know that change has always been something that I've been very fond of. I tend to get really bored uh, with like my classroom arrangement, with my decoration, with my teaching. I always like to mix things up to make things better. But it's always so interesting that even though I've changed from kindergarten to fourth grade to the MAC team, even though I've changed my instructional styles or my classroom, one thing has really always stayed the same in my room and that's my 43 folder system. So this morning I drove our truck and I am not really a fan of driving the big truck because I am not a very good parker, but I have to say uh, that I did a pretty stellar job parking that truck. All right, this morning I'm gonna do some little cleanup. We've been working on ornaments. I'm gonna show you those in just a little bit. We've also been doing some other projects in this classroom. So my room was a little bit dirty. Uh, yesterday we had a Zygota. Oh. I go to one the first trimester, y'all. Um, I am Team Uwamuzi, if some of you do not know, if you uh, haven't been watching for me for very long, we have the house system for the MAC team. Um, so everybody has been sorted into their houses. I am the Uwamuzi uh, team. And Zygota won the first trimester. And I was just crushed. We were so close, like this close. We were really, really close. And really and truly, I think if we had another week, we would have smoked them. Uh, but we didn't. <sighs> I may have cried. We had <laughs> Zygota's uh, party yesterday and they chose to have ice cream and waffles, which is always a good time. I love me some ice cream and waffles. Oh, so delicious. And I have to say that I am also a pretty awesome waffle maker. Uh, so I have that mess that I still left there because I just went home yesterday and had a conference, a, a concert. So I have that mess. I'm going to do some cleanups and then we're going to get ready for today. how and here is what you need in order to kind of implement this 43 folder system idea. And I'm going to go a little bit in depth and I'm going to show you guys how I use kind of David Allen's ideas and how I use my file system to be able to make my organization and my workflow really work for me. Um, so here's what you need. You need 43 folders, <laughs> um, folders of some kind. I use hanging folders just because it's the easiest for me. I like have them inside of my file cabinet. It's kind of tucked in the corner. Nobody can really see it. And it allows me to be able to stuff it to its max. Um, if you end up choosing something that's more of a container, just know that you're not going to be able to fit as many things inside of your folders because it doesn't expand the way a file cabinet expands. So I have kind of dedicated an entire file cabinet or at least a drawer to that file cabinet um, for my 43 folders. What you'll need to do is for each folder, you're going to have 31 of them, and then you're going to number them one all the way to 31. This represents the possible number of days that you can have within a month. Um, you're never going to exceed 31 days, so that's why you end up needing 31 folders for that, because it never goes above that in a month. Um, and then you're going to take 12 more folders. Uh, you could change them into a different color. You can also, you know, have them color coded by the month. It's all up to you on how you want to organize as far as color goes. I kept it pretty simple because this is what I had on hand. Uh, and you're going to label these for each possible month up to the year. So January, February, March, April, all the way up to December. Now you have your 43 folders. All right, so let's take a look at my folder system. So here is my folder system. It really isn't anything fancy, to be honest. But here is how I use it. So I have my numbers. Um, I have all of my numbers, as you can see, and they go all the way to 31. Um, and then I have my months. So you'll see all of my months back here. And then I have my 
December right up here. Now, the reason why I have this separated this way is because you take the month that you are currently in and you keep that month up front. This allows you to put any papers or activities that you find, but you don't really know when to use it up here in this pocket. And then as you realize that, hey, you know what? I have time to be able to use that item that I found. Now I'm gonna place it into one of the folders for the day that I wanna use it. So this is kind of your catch all for the month. And you can do the same for any of the other folders. So for instance, let's say that in January, I found a really cool Martin Luther King uh, Jr. activity that I wanted to do. And so for that month, I don't really know exactly when yet, but I'm going to place it inside of my January folder. And then when January rolls around, I will sort out the activities based on when I have the time to be able to teach those lessons. I can do the same for any of these months. Um, if I find something to do for President's Day and I can stick it in February until I'm ready to get to that month and then sort when I'm gonna use that activity. Now, you're probably also wondering why in the world I have my days all mixed up. So the way that it works is that you keep the day that you are currently on up front. So today was the sixth. Um, here is the sixth one right here. So I am actually done with today. When you are done and you've emptied everything out, which this one is emptied, then you're going to place it to the very back. Now, if you look here, in January, I've started placing the number one, two, three, four, five. And now I can go ahead and take my six and place it back here. I've already gone ahead and placed eight and nine because these are weekend dates and I know for a fact that I won't be using them. So as you move along, I remove the day here as I finish it and then place it behind the upcoming month. So I can always plan for a month in advance. So if I know something that I'm gonna do when I get back on the second, I can go ahead and have those materials ready because I've already passed December 2nd and that folder is ready to go for January 2nd. So you continue this as you go along. As I finish up tomorrow, which tomorrow is the seventh for me, so I have some of my items already prepared here. But as I finish up all of the seventh items, I will do the same. I'll move this and place it behind the sixth for January. And I will just kind of keep going, but it allows me to really keep all of my things organized. So inside of here, I will clip things. I will paper clip things. Sometimes I'll have books in here. Um, you can see I have other little like anchor chart pieces from the Lucy Calkins in here. So you can see that I kind of clip everything and then I will just take it out. What's really nice about this system is if you have a sub, I would simply just take out my entire folder and then I would lay it on my desk and this is all of the materials that I had for the day was ready for my sub to come in and be able to teach my lessons. So it makes it incredibly convenient. It's really easy to kind of maintain and keep track of. And the best part about it is that mine is hidden away. I almost fell on that chair. <laughs> All right, guys. So I really hope that you kind of enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to kind of get a better idea of how I organize my paper intake, my paper flow, and really my baby in my classroom. The one thing that I kind of hold near and dear to my heart because it really is. It is something that really kind of keeps me going no matter all of the other chaos that's kind of happening. I feel like this is the one thing that I will always rely on no matter how much everything around me is changing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up to support the channel, everyone. Uh, also subscribe if you have not already. I'm really working on kind of showing you guys some really great videos, some content that I think that's going to benefit you and really help you grow as an educator, as a person, whatever you want to think about it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and then I will see you all really soon. Bye!